Hey guys, it's Quigley again with another ROM review and this time I've got Archie Droid version 2.2.2 for Galaxy S3. So uh, all in all this is a CM based ROM and it's one awesome package. I've already made a uh, installation guide uh, for this uh, ROM because well it comes in a aroma package and it has a lot of customization options. So yeah, be sure to check that out for any help, okay? Now what you see here is the uh, mundane lock screen, which, uh, well, frankly, again, I've come to grow tired of it. Well, it's the same in all, okay? Now, uh, in this one, you can see something here, right? So that's new. That is actually an app called Cool Tool, which you can install uh in the aroma package so well what 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 that does is that it shows you all these statistics so you have cpu meter the clock speed that is, and the free memories temperature uh network uh, speed network data uh, that s i don't know 10 mbps which is uh well that is i think the speed it is zero i guess so that is the uh, data displayed there. I, I think you can customize the data there. So no problems there. Now, first of all, this is the Nova launcher with which you have the option. You have Nova launcher, Apex launcher, uh, the Trebuchet. So you have the option in the Aroma launcher. I didn't customize anything. I just installed all the apps available and I didn't change any basic setting. That This is the basic setting with all the apps. So yeah, you might have to take that into account okay now pretty neat again uh, let's go to settings okay uh, you will see that the uh, uh, the text is shrunken well the whole interface is shrunken because this is actually running the DPI setting of 241 which is again an option available in uh, your aroma installer you have 240 241 280 and 320 that is the stock Samsung S3 so yeah you have the, those options too now about the phone uh, you have the android version 4.3.1 which is the latest cm kernel is uh, boifla kernel i have installed uh, you have the option to install boifla or the stock kernel or uh, yang 555 uh, googie max you have a lot of kernels available for this so pretty neat again uh, sanjan mode version 27 10 2013 which is latest I believe so. Yeah, it is the latest. Okay, Archeroid version is 2.2.2 stable. This one, okay. Build date is 27th. Okay, it's another language. I don't know. Okay, whatever. These are the uh, statistics. Now, pretty neat. Uh, about the other settings, it is pretty much the same as uh, the Sanitan mod settings. Nothing too huge in any of it. I'll still show you guys. So you have on screen settings that is the Nova settings, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, others include lock screen settings, you have a lot of them. Uh, all these maximize village widgets, uh, allow wall clock, C clock, customization, camera widget, uh, music controls. This is widget pager, etc. Battery status only when charging, etc. etc. You have a lot of settings here. Well, the same as Sanjay and Mod. Okay, Dark Droid is enabled by default. You can disable that. So, I'm going to disable that. Yeah, it is disabled. I enabled it again. Okay, disabled now. Interface interface has a lot of settings again. Now, status bar settings are these. You have back status bar background style, clock and date. You have it disabled. Well, it is enabled. You can see full clock full date and of month also so yeah you can uh, customize that uh, in any way you want so yeah it's pretty customizable in that respect uh, battery uh, circle battery you can have circle battery it is now running circle battery with the text in the middle quick peek for full screen apps uh, etc so normal stuff general UI you can actually change the density after you install the ROM so uh, don't panic if you have selected uh, something like 241 and you want to go back to something else you can select it here it's pretty neat uh, uh, list view you do have list view animations uh, it is alpha at the moment you will see that disappearing right yeah that is a list view enabled now you have a custom animations awesome 
the custom animation now is just the uh, sliding thing so you can have that changed and uh, well it's up to you Qu uh, quick settings is also pretty neat you have all these settings uh, these are the quick settings uh, it might be a bit hard to read the text because of the uh, DPI setting now but yeah it's uh, kind of the same in all so I don't think that's a problem what this ROM gives you is the uh, option to install everything in one package if you are not confident to uh, flash different mods and things like that in different different packages well this one is here now you do have active display it's pretty neat uh, it's something which I use uh, all all the time pretty neat again um, now CPU info show CPU info well, here you can see the CPU info here also if you are not using this tool you can have that pretty neat uh, okay all these options are similar okay navigation bar and slim pie you do have that options available also it is slim pie so yeah nothing huge or things like uh, animations also okay halo you do have halo 2.0 so you have ninja mode and uh, well all the things uh, rate of it it's pretty neat will come halo yeah now if you notice the colors in here are a bit uh, well on the lighter side not the dynamic color which you may be used to the uh, uh, the mod actually uh, said about this in his thread that he uses natural colors rather than the dynamic colors you can change those colors from the Bifla kernel Bifla configuration tool you do need the root access there okay now in the display setting I guess display plus LED you can change the uh, this to natural this is at natural right you can change it to dynamic for a bluer uh, appearance for everything so you can see that right so it's pretty neat uh, you have the options for that yeah but if the kernel is another app altogether so you have all this, this things again okay? now these are the apps with which it comes so you have pretty much all covered up no problems you have inverted apps even the messenger is actually inverted uh, Facebook messenger actually it is inverted so it will be black I guess instead of dark blue uh, let me see that yeah you can see that it's blue black instead of uh, blue so if you are into that it, it has to be selected from the aroma installer yeah Facebook also inverted um, all all these are inverted okay the maps are inverted you can see the uh, black bars it is inverted you have a lot of things there play play apps G apps are inverted you can select act them actually so it's up to you it you have option of two keyboards touch well touch well X keyboard or hacker keyboard default is the touch well X so you can select whatever you want it comes with exp exposed installer so you have exposed framework uh, something which I really like is that it comes with spirit free that is Spirit FM. So, uh, guys who like listening to FM radio uh, while moving to uh, another ROM, like the latest ROMs, you are uh, hindered from using FM radio. But with this one, you can still use FM radio. It's something which I really appreciate, which I really use actually. So, it's pretty neat. Okay, the Halo is working. So, if you want to, in proof of that, it's there. Now, yeah, I think that is it about the ROM. Nothing too huge about this. Uh, it's it all works. It all works pretty good. Uh, it really uh, gives a sense of uh, speed. It did work uh, good. The battery life is pretty neat. I don't think I have any complaints about that. So yeah, I think that is it about the ROM. Uh, well, there's nothing much to talk about this because uh, it is just like other cyanogen mods so uh, it's something uh, which you must try and experience the difference yes there is a bit of difference because of the kernel different kernels uh, customization options but uh, it kind of uh, gives you the same experience so yeah pretty neat the ram bar i'll show you guys what the uh, ram is you can see that it is 35 max free well cache used is there so that's not uh, how I display my this thing. Yeah, this is actually okay. So you can see 600 megs free. 
so yeah that's what you need uh, mostly after installing all the apps you have kind of like 300 megs free so that's pretty neat so yeah i guess that is it about the rom let me show you guys the boot animation so here is the boot animation you do have the option to choose whatever boot animation you want so there are three boot animations one is this one one is archidroid 1 1.1 x i guess the older version and also uh, locker that is live locker the original locker will be displayed so if you are a true geek and if you want to show that off you can use that one so pretty neat so yeah i guess that is it about the round please subscribe like and share the video if you really like it so see you guys next time bye